Welcome to the city of Bath on the Kennebec River here in Midcoast, Maine. I'm Jim Parmentier and I'd like to tell you about a shipbuilding project that I've been involved with for the last several years. In 1606, James, King of England, granted charters to two groups of investors to establish two colonies in the New World. His goal was geopolitical. He wanted to claim territory that would block encroachment by the Spanish from the south and by the French from Quebec and Nova Scotia. The investor's goal was to get rich by discovering gold or the Northwest Passage or by controlling trade in beaver skins or fish. One group settled in land we now call Virginia. They named their colony Jamestown. It struggled, but it survived to become the first permanent English settlement in North America. The other group landed at the mouth of the Kennebec River here in Maine. They named their settlement Popham after Sir John Popham, the Lord Chief Justice of England, one of their major investors. During their first year, the investors ran into financial difficulties and the colonists ran into an unexpectedly harsh winter. Fourteen months later, they abandoned the settlement and returned to England. The Popham colonists made a significant contribution before they left the Kennebec. They had been directed to build a ship out of local materials and explore the coast for resources that would justify their backers' investments. So, in addition to all else they had to do to survive, the colonists built a ship, quote, some 50 feet in length and some 30 ton in volume, end quote, says the only description we have of it. They named the ship Virginia, and later, when the colony folded in October of 1608, they sailed her back to England. Now, here in Bath, volunteers are reconstructing Maine's first ship. There's little documentation for any ship that was constructed 400 years ago. Ship design was considered valuable intellectual property in that era. Like nautical charts and, or productive fishing grounds, shipbuilding techniques were carefully guarded secrets. Our Virginia's keel was laid in June of 2011. She's double framed of white oak, spaced two feet on center, and held in place by oak pegs called trunnels. There are 18 interior bilge clamps, each two and a half inch thick white oak, 10 inches wide, some of them up to 22 feet long. Those at the bow and stern were steamed for several hours to make them flexible enough to be bent and clamped and braced and sledgehammered into position. They give the ship stability. This past fall, we've been fairing the outside of the hull to receive the planking. Those are the boards that keep the water out. Although at times we use epoxy and electrical tools, our procedures are the same ones carried out by the colonists. We want to be as authentic as possible, but we also want Coast Guard certification to sail her once she's been completed. Maine's first ship is a historically significant reconstruction project that is fueled by the generosity of our members and supporters, our partnerships within the local community, and the commitment of our volunteers. As we build Virginia, we are engaging students, visitors, and volunteers in a broad range of opportunities to learn traditional skills. We teach practical ship design and construction, including lofting, carpentry, and the related math, as well as ship preservation, operation, and maintenance. Maine's first ship is a 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to maintaining a welcoming environment for volunteers, for students, and for visitors. To become a member of MSS, to donate or to volunteer, please contact us at Maine's First Ship, P.O. Box 231, Bath, Maine, 04530. Or come by the Bath Freight Shed, 27 Commercial Street in Bath, anytime you see the flag of St. George flying.